Welcome back to the Kalanjuri YouTube channel. Today we have a very exciting video for you. We are going behind the scenes of our ring crafting process. On Instagram, I've been getting a few requests from some of our clients that they want a behind the scenes look into how their ring is being created. So that is exactly what we're going to do. This is going to be the first video of our new mini series where I take you behind the scenes of that process. This video was actually requested by one of our clients. She reached out to me and she wanted me to film her ring. So let's get into that. I'll first give you a few details of the ring we are going to be creating and then we'll get going. So this is Kayla's ring. She has ordered a daisy design, which is just a classic oval solitaire, plain yellow gold band. So the ring has already been cast. We've got the, basically the shell of the ring. So uh, today we're going to be setting the diamond with Michael, our jeweler, who is here in this office with us. I'll show you a close up of the gorgeous diamond that Kayla picked out. It's such a stunning stone. So this is a 2.82 carat FVS2 oval lab grown diamond and it's absolutely stunning. First and foremost, each of our stones go through a scanning process so that the setting is crafted to be a perfect match. Our jeweler Michael then further customizes it to fit perfectly to the shape of the stone so it's secure, reducing the risk the stone will loosen over time. We also see Michael burying the inside of the claws to make the stone seat. This is where the girdle sits and we'll see in a moment how these grooves help to reinforce the stone and prevent it from rotating. We then see Michael filing the inside edge of the eagle tip claw so that it sits flat on the stone. Also, you might notice the gold looks really silky and that's due to the lubricant on the tools, which also allows for a smooth finish. The process of securing the diamond begins and we see Michael bending the claws over the stone. During this step, it is essential to ensure that the diamond is sitting level, so we can also see Michael pushing down on the stone in between the adjusting the claws. time to file the claws. This is essential for two main reasons. One being aesthetic, it removes the look of having too much metal and clunkiness over the stone. And secondly, for practicality. Filing the claws so that they sit flush on the stone will reduce the risk of snagging a claw. Michael's using a process called hammer setting, which basically ensures that the claw sits as flush as possible to the stone. Now the file we see Michael using in this clip is called a safety edge file, which doesn't damage the stone, which is very important. Now just a side note, I know the stone looks a little scratched up here, but it is actually just the polishing compound as well as fingerprints. It's perfectly fine and you'll see in a second that that just all wipes away. The next process which is done by Michael is called bright cutting the claws and this is done using a graver tool. And this is to make the edge of the claw nice and smooth so that later on when it is being polished, it isn't lumpy. 
Now just finishing off with the final touches and perfecting the shape of the claws. Now the very final step after polishing is to give the ring a deep clean to remove all that dirt and grime and to reveal that beautiful shine. Thank you so much for watching. Kayla's ring came out so stunning. I cannot wait to see her reaction. I hope she loves it too. Now, something to note, um, this will be a continuing series that we are going to be doing on our YouTube channel, but unfortunately we can't do it for absolutely everyone because that would be a full-time job in itself. And I've got Instagram and TikTok to run. So uh, if you want me to film your ring, leave your name below or send us a message and I can see what I can do otherwise I'll try and pick out a couple people a month to take you behind the scenes on their orders thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time